Well, hello guys, me is LEGO123 here. This time doing another LEGO Ninjago Summer 2016 set review. This time, as you can see, it's on set 70588. This is the Titanium Ninja Tumbler. On the front there, we can see Yang's Lantern, of course. And then we've also got two Nintroids and, of course, Zane. And then we also have got Cole across the top, and then we've got the Tumbler fighting off against the Nintroids. And then on the back of the box there, we can see this includes the fifth collectible. This is the Technoblade. And then we can see all of the features of the set. And of course the new Woo Crew app which is coming soon. So yeah, now let's go ahead and take a look at the mini. So starting off with Zane here. As you can see he is in the new Day of the Departed robes and obviously there is really no official name for these. I'm just calling them this because uh, the season is called Day of the Departed. So you can see the torso and like detailing, which this isn't exclusive to this set because it also comes in this ultra stealth raider. However, this version of these robes comes with the Techno uh, robe bandana and then it also comes with his titanium hair there so that you can see that with his normal face on and then with the second face there and then there you can see the back detailing and he does also come with two shurikens so yeah that is it for Zane and so next up these two minifigures are exactly the same except for the accessories they come with these are just two generic nindroids so as you can see, the torso and face detailing there, they are both the same, and then the back detailing. And uh, you can also see they, one of them does come with the Technoblade weapon here, which also comes with General Crypto in the Samurai X Cave. And in the Samurai X Cave, General Crypto is just basically one of these Nindroids with extra armor and the helmet on. So there is nothing exclusive to this set about these Nindroids. And as you can see, this other Nindroid has this little kind of jetpack there. Two katanas on it, and that just attaches to the back with that little kind of jumper piece. And then he does also come with a stud shooter, and that does shoot off red kind of laser beams. And there is a spare stud on the back of it. So yeah, that is it for the two Nindroids of the set. Now we can get onto the main vehicle itself. And so here is the actual tumbler itself. Now this thing is a really really nice build, and it's got a great little design to it. So as you can see, this is a really, really armoured little tank here. And you can see it's got the kind of uh, Japanese rice hats on the wheels there, that they use on Sensei Wu. And there are a lot of things that you can do with this little tumbler. So as you can see right off the front, we've got Zane's symbol there. And then something to note, you can see this is kind of powered by Zane's power source. Just going to be interesting to see how that's going to play in. On the top here, we can see we've got two stud shooters, and you just kind of press down on those to shoot them off. And it does launch these light blue little studs, so you can just attach those on there. So that is its first line of defense, and if those fail, you can see it's got this big ball on the back here. And then what you do is you push, push that in, and then these two little bits on the side will pop out. And as you can see, they just come past the wheels, so they just make it out just a tiny bit past the wheels so that they can shoot out. And then those shoot out two blue spring-loaded shoot missiles. So as you can see those there, and you can just put that back in like so, and then you can see how it comes out there. And then it's got a lot of panels, little panels on it making up the armour, and then this back one actually makes up part of another feature, and what you can do with this is, you can detach this little jetpack here, and then what you can do with that is, if you take Zane and take off the two shortcuts he comes with, can attach him to this little jet here and then he can go and fly after the Nindroid. So that's a pretty cool little feature and it just clips on right there. And then as you can see we've got this last little bit for the uh, back here and that is this little prison cell so that can stand upright like so and you can open it up and then if we take our Nindroid here you can simply stamp him in there and then close this up and freeze him and then place him on the back of the tumbler like so and then Zane can come in and reattach his little jet and complete the tumbler and then the one last thing with this is of course the main cockpit so as you can see here the cockpit is really really big so you can open this up here and then you can see how far that comes out and inside there there is a little sticker panel, a panel with a stick on it there and as you can see they've got pixel there so this is kind of leading me to believe that this is kind of a rebuilt pixel and the pixel is actually the tumbler simply because pixel did have half of zane's power source 
to see a half of Santa Claus was there. And then obviously Pixel on the inside of the cockpit there. And then you can sit Zane in here, like so. So you just sit him there, and then you can close up the cockpit. And there you can see he is right in front of Pixel, and he has got a nice view there. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the Titanium Ninja Tumblr. And then as you see, there is nothing on the back, on the bottom of it there. Nothing too interesting. And yeah, just another look at this with the cockpit open. So you see you can take Zane out afterwards, and then close it back up. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Titanium Ninja Tumblr. So now onto the ratings for the Titanium Ninja Tumblr. Overall, this is a really, really good Season 7 set. This is definitely one of the best. And the minifigure selection is really, really nice because it's a nice cheap way to get Zane and his hair. Obviously the new robe of Zane. You get one of the new green weapons. I'm pretty sure this is the cheapest way to get one of these weapons. And then we also get two Nindroids. Obviously we haven't seen the Nindroids since 2014, so it's nice to get them again if you didn't get any of them back in 2014. And the main build here is a really, really nice build. Really, really sturdy, it's got some great play features. And overall, it just really looks really nice and it definitely fits with the whole Tumblr theme. It definitely reminds me of a uh, Batman Tumblr. I wasn't a big fan of this when I first saw pictures of it, but as time went on I kind of liked it a bit more. And now that I actually have it in hand, this is definitely a really, really good set. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. So overall rating is going to be a 9.5. This is an amazing set and I definitely recommend it for Zane fans, Ninja fans, and just any Ninjago fans overall. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!